Welcome back everybody. I'm working on a couple of changes for the channel. Um, ordered a couple of things online, gonna shift some things up. So things might look a little bit different over the next couple of days. Um, nothing too crazy. It'll look more or less similar to what it is now. But if you notice any changes, um, I'm working on a few different things. You know, I, I talked about this in regards to uh, setting up a way to do shows and movies and that sort of stuff too. So this is just another thing that I'm doing to sort of try to switch it up. I have gotten this recommended to me, oh, twice in the last, I don't know, 12 hours or so. Um, maybe not even that long, maybe in the last like six hours. Uh, but anyway, it's been a while since we've done one. This is Sabaton, the first soldier. This is the lyric video. We haven't done Sabaton in a while. I'm pretty excited to do this. Let's jump into it. They're really good at making their songs sound so epic. I've, I know I've said this a million times, but they sound like movie soundtracks. Like the, the crescendo or the very top, the climax of the movie, I feel like a lot of their songs have that, that sort of feel to them. Okay, before they get into what I'm sure will be a guitar solo here in a minute, a couple of things. One, I saw this guy's name, and I have seen it before in reference to World War I, but I don't know much about him at, at all. He was mentioned with the likes of, um, of like an Alvin York or in the next war like an, an Audie Murphy, that sort of thing. So, you know, I've talked about this in regards to um, other, other videos, other wars, things like that. There are some soldiers and some people in general who they thrive in these situations when the, the most pressure is on. And there are, you know, soldiers on both sides who are literally having their psyches broken there are are some that just step up and do really really well now they don't necessarily love it that's kind of a different class of soldier because you do have some that really kind of in a weird way like the the chaos of the war 
Not all of these guys were necessarily like that, but they did. They they held their own. Um, and so that's the, the kind of context I've heard him in. But I don't really know anything about what he did, which seems so strange because World War I is is one of the wars that, especially in more modern times, that I feel like I know, you know, most about versus other more modern conflicts and stuff like that. Um, I probably know a hundred times more about World War One and like specific details of battles and, and things of that nature than I do, say, the American Civil War. And so... I'm I'm kind of like disappointed in myself a little bit that I haven't ever taken the time to read anything about this guy. Um, after the video is over, if they don't give his name, I'll do the best I can with it, um, and then I'll read off like some of his some of his stuff that he's done during the war, and we can both kind of learn as we go. Um, everything obviously that's not mentioned in the song. From the south to the front, did you know his land? Okay, that was Sabaton's The First Soldier. Um, <laughs> great song. I was hoping they would sneak a guitar solo in there somewhere. That's kind of a staple of, of their music. This guy's name is um, Albert Severin Roche. Roche. Um, I'm, the, I'm, not, I'm not great with the, the French. Um, so this is... This is what he did in World War I, okay? I'm just reading down here. Um, he destroyed a, a German blockhouse uh, where he threw grenades in through a chimney. He was a lone survivor in a trench in Alsace, and he was jumping around using different weapons from obviously fallen soldiers around him to make it look as if there was still a lot of people that were holding down the trench. And it actually, it actually worked. It eventually, you know, shut down the advance. Um, he, uh, he was captured with a wounded Lieutenant. Um, he killed his interrogator, stole his pistol and returned to the French lines. Um, with 42, 42 new prisoners, obviously he, he escaped, he had the weapon, he took prisoners, got the wounded lieutenant, and then made it back to the French lines. Um, there's, honestly, I could read for like 20 minutes, so I'll stop there and wait for the Sabaton history for it, because they'll, they'll do it way better than I could do it, but, um, 
holding down a trench. That that one's the craziest of of those to me. Like, have have y'all ever seen the movie The Patriot? It's a a really bad example or or encapsulation of the American Revolution. It's a movie with Mel Gibson in it. He does this thing in the woods where he has guns lined up around trees and he's ambushing this British column that's coming through. And so he has all of these these uh, guns loaded. And so he'll shoot one, then run to the next and, and shoot it, run to the next, shoot it. And so they're trying to figure out where the shooting is coming from. When you watch it, you're like, yeah, that could only be done, you know, in in Hollywood. Well, this dude did it in a trench. He didn't even have the trees to, to really hide behind. He was obviously down. But you would think with the shot coming, you know, because if you're moving spot to spot, a shot's only coming, you know, with an interval between each one. It's not like this constant barrage of gunfire because you couldn't move place to place while doing that. And so... I'm not sure exactly how he did that. I'll have to read more about that incident, but it worked. It stopped the it stopped the German advance. So um, I guess that's later in the war, uh, or at least somewhat later. Initially, the French are getting slaughtered down near Alsace, uh, but there aren't trenches down there yet either. The French are marching in with columns, and they're still in their dummy uniforms and, you know, the, the French don't have a very good showing at the beginning of World War I. In fact, things are moving so quickly and, you know, new war and new technology and that sort of stuff that nobody is particularly having a great showing other than the Germans who initially make this huge push. But then even they, once they start to get bogged down, they start, you know, they hit the same issues. World War I is one massive shit show from almost beginning to end. But it is one of my favorite historical conflicts. And it's not just the war itself. I love the time period. I've said this before on the channel. I'm super fascinated with the history of the Italian mafia, uh, particularly in the United States. It is coming to fruition. You have characters like Arnold Rothstein, um, some of the younger who will become really well-known mobsters later are just getting into it. The forming of the organized mafia is, is just becoming a thing in this time period. So I love the whole time period. I love the economic study going into the depression and all of that. So just love the time period. Another great song. I've said this before. Sabaton doesn't miss. They've got all they put out is bangers. But uh, yeah, that was a great one. Sabaton, the first soldier. I will have another video out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Help me keep building the channel over here. And I will see you all next time.